Hey YouTube, uh, CJ Spatula again with uh, the fourth, uh, the fourth video of uh, HackThisSite.org and their realistic missions. Um, so we're gonna go through here and check out what we have to do for this mission, I guess. Um, I, I believe in this mission is another SQL injection that we're gonna learn. So HackThisSite.org. Let's see what we got here. Again, I reset the cookies that way, except for I failed at typing in my username. So let's go ahead, go to the realistic missions here, and since I cleared my cookies, I had to re-log in and everything. Uh, so number four is Fisher's Animal Products, and it's a slaughterhouse where they kill these animals and make these fur coats and things to sell to people. Um, so for this challenge, we have a request from someone. Um, who wants to hack the website and get the email list for all the customers and send it to him. That way I guess he's going to message bomb him once we give him all the emails. So our job is to get all those emails. So when we go to the page here we have a small um, text box area that we can add an email to the mailing list. Now this is how the current users have their emails into it. Uh, we have two links here. One is to their fur coats, which is, I mean, just descriptions and three regular pictures and same with the alligator accessories. So what we're looking at here is when we go to these links, what I noticed first is it's getting a PHP function here. PHP question mark category equals one. This is telling me it could be vulnerable to SQL injection. So we're going to do a little more advanced tutorial on SQL injection here. Um, and to test this out, we're going to do an order by. Um, so we're going to test this by after this, we're going to type order by one and see what we get. We get the same page. So we're going to check how many columns this uh, database contains. We're going to check how many columns this, this uh, website contains by checking how many orders it lets us do. So order by one, it gives us the same page. Order by two, uh, still same page. By three, a little bit different. It's getting different every time. four if my computer would be a little bit faster here still the same thing just a little bit different order five gives us nothing so we know that there's four columns in the website because five gave us an error so there's four columns in the website so now we're gonna select all we're gonna do a union select also union all select 1, 2, 3, 4 because we know there's four columns so we want to see all of them at once. So what we see here now is uh, the one thing that we're going to look at is numbers. So these two numbers by themselves are telling me that columns 2 and columns 3 are vulnerable to the SQL injection. Now to go further into uh, the SQL injection what we can do is replace either the 2 or 3 what we need. So we can do we can null out 
one. So go ahead and null out one. I'm actually going to uh, go for a column three. So we're going to null out two as well. For three, we're going to put an asterisk. And for four, we're going to null that out as well. And at the end, we're going to add from email. Let's see what that gives us. There we go. Look at that. We found by blind SQL injection that there was a table called email um, that will give us all the emails in their mailing list. So now we can control uh, or we can highlight all of these emails here. Copy it. Go back to our guy here and his name is Save the Whales. So we go to our message center. And we're going to compose a message. I believe it was save the whales, right? And for the message, just go ahead and put in all of the emails here. And well, whatever you want here. And uh, now I've already gotten, now I've gotten this. You have already completed this challenge, but for you, you will complete this challenge. And that is a more advanced version of SQL injection. And uh, that can be used in real websites. Uh, it, to check for vulnerabilities, though, because we knew it was going to be vulnerable to SQL injection, to check first to see if it's going to be vulnerable, you would put a single quote at the end of the URL. So right here at the end of this URL, I'd put a single quote to see if this website is vulnerable to SQL injection. But this website, obviously, it's built to uh, handle that. This one is not vulnerable, but it would give you an SQL error. So good luck uh, with future hacking and I will be back uh, sometime with the fifth video of the realistic challenges. This is CJ Spatula signing out.